Now we've just plotted this line here, but we want to say if we have a line already plotted, can we find the slope from that? Of course we can if we have some points. So we have some points here already. If not, we can sort of guesstimate and go from there. But in this case, we have a couple of points clearly marked. So to find the slope, we need to find the rise over run, we call it. So the slope equation, or the quotient formula, is m, we call it, the slope. And sometimes we say rise over run, or delta y over delta x. So we need to pick two points and plug it in here. So say we pick the point between here and here. So we want to talk about what the rise and the run is here. Rise being delta y, x being delta x. Or sorry, the run being delta x. So the rise is how much we go up or down from this point. So from this point to this point, we go down 2. So delta x isn't 2, it's negative 2 because we've gone down 2. So it's negative if you go down. So m is equal to negative 2 divided by now what's the run, or the delta x? So we go from here to the right, 1. So it's positive 1. So it's positive slope if you go up to the right, and negative slope if you go down to the right. So our m is equal to negative 2 divided by 1, which is just, of course, negative 2. And this is exactly what we would have seen if we looked at this slope-intercept form of our original equation when we wrote it in the slope-intercept form, or y equals mx plus c m is equal to negative 2, which is exactly what we found here.